that look and you know people have bad news to tell you? I guess they had to cut this trip short. Really, nigga? Man, if you don't get your camera... Bruh, get out of here, man. That's a spear in his chest. Get down, get down. Wait, wait. Oh my god. Who? My skin. Do not show that on the screen again, please. Is it what happened to her? Oh my god, that is disgusting. Are you ready? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Tell by Reacts here back with another reaction to Bates Motel. Yes. I'm loving the show. I'm loving the show. I'm loving the show. I think I kind of remember where I heard the Norman Bates reference. I think it was from an Eminem song. <laughs> Let's jump into it and see what happens next. <laughs> if you want to see more episodes of Bates Motel. Once this hits the channel, you can go over there and check it out on Patreon. Link is down in the description. Let's jump into it. Let's go. Not a good idea. I guess he's probably, he's probably gonna end up using this gun by the end of this episode. I could use your help today. The new carpet is being delivered and somebody needs to be here to sign for it. You know, I'd love to, but I have a job. Doing what exactly? Nothing. Doing nothing. You could have come up with a better excuse than that. That's a piece of my china. It's not a to-go container. I'm terrified those guys with the guns are going to try and find us because we saw their stupid pot field. Why do you feel guilty? We weren't trying to see their pot field. I feel guilty because... Well, because... I was just using that whole, let's go look for the grave of the dead girl as a way to get you to go hang out with me. And I didn't even really believe it was true until I saw that shed. And when I saw it, I just got this feeling. Calm down. I can't. That dead girl is calling us from the grave. I forget about it. I can't forget about it. It's on these pages in black and white. Maybe you better give me back the journal. It's pornographic. We're at school. Why are you so obsessed with it? Hey, I found it in your room. I'm not obsessed with it. So it was in my room. That doesn't mean anything. This means that I found it and didn't throw it away. I've got to go to class. He's so awkward, dude. And it's, he's the same way in The Good Doctor, man. I, even though I don't watch this, I watched like probably like the first three episodes of that series, and then I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm out. What are you doing? Norman? Norman? Shit. This dude is having thoughts of stringing up his teacher. This guy has problems. What exactly are you testing for? Recovering everything that could be a factor. Brain, heart, nervous system. We'll do a full workup. MRI, CT, EKG. Does your son have a history of blackouts? Why would you ask me that? I'm trying to establish a history. So has he ever blacked out before? No. No, never. Not at all. Why do I feel like you're lying, Norma? So it it was their pot field, probably. Possibly. Wow. Yes. Yeah, it's something to see, huh? Get on the ground! <laughs> Damn, look who's packing! Hey, noob, don't shoot your pants off. <laughs> Yeah, and make him get us some more firewood, too. We chill. You can even sleep if you want. As long as we do it in shifts. Five million dollars worth of weed in these fields. Someone's got to guard it. 300 bucks a day just to hang out. That's right. We'll get the test results soon. Don't worry. I'm not. Are you? Hello? You're there now? <sighs> well, I'm not. No. No, I can't. The carpet. They're there right now. They need someone to sign. Well, go. I'll be fine. Uh, okay. You know what? Stay put, and uh, I'll be there in ten. I'm gonna. I'll be back. Okay. I love you. Love you too, mom. Tag. You're it. Bradley, thanks. Sorry we didn't get to talk when you visited. Meant a lot to me that you were there. No big deal. No, it was. No one else came. 
You're brave, Norman Bates. I figure I return the favor. How's your father? Medically induced coma. I don't think he's gonna make it. It's crazy. It was burnt. <laughs> Death is awkward. So what about your dad? He doesn't live with you, right? No, he passed away. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It was an accident in our garage. Hate unless I don't get it. But it's like, can I stay for a little while? Yeah, sure. I was just watching this this old movie. But it's pretty bad. You like old movies? Yeah, I guess I do. Everyone seems better in old movies, even bad ones. Happier, maybe. But we can watch something else. No. Scooch over. There's a whole other bed <laughs> over there. <laughs> but I get it, though. You know what I'm saying? Scoot over. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Pope, the young elopers, take the ground floor. Uh, get a warrant to search your house. You can't just walk into my home. No, actually, we can't. Shit. They're gonna find the Norman um, stuff. Sorry, I was needed back home. The test came back. Everything's negative. Negative is good, Norman. That means it's good. Everything's fine. They're good. Thank God. I'd like to keep him here overnight for observation. Case of a recurrence. Said the tests were negative. We still don't know why this happened. I'll be back to check on him in the morning. I'm trying to remember where have I seen her. What have I watched her in before? Get your stuff together. We're leaving. Right now. Oh <laughs> uh, no no! You can't do that. Doctor said he's fine. We're going home. I am his mother, and I am checking him out. That Romero came back today with a search warrant. The police were still there when I left. I have no idea if they found anything. Did they find anything? No, I just told you. I don't know if <laughs> anything. Right, right. Yeah, of course, nothing. There's nothing. Right, Mo. Nothing. Uh, that stuff you got under your bed and didn't take anything out. Why do you keep asking me that? Right? Right. Right, Mom. Nothing. Carmen, <laughs> <laughs> I just need to lay down. Shake. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I don't know, buddy. What's wrong with me? I don't think there's anything wrong. Will you set the table? I kept Keith's belt. What? When we loaded his body into the car, I kept it. Uh, where is it now? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You don't know where you left it? I left it under my bed. Now it's gone. Are you sure? Maybe, maybe sure. it's somewhere else. Oh, it was under my bed. I hid it there. You hid it there? I mean, why? Why would you do that? Why would you? Why would you want to keep that thing? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right, well, if the police had found it, they would have. They would have told. They would have said something, right? They would have told us. Not really. They could still be building a case. Okay, I will be right back. Who owns all this? People, families. You ask a lot of questions. I just don't want to end up like that guy who got his warehouse burned down. Gary. He was my boss. Pissed somebody off, so they messed him up real good. Set him on fire to send a message. It's a hell of a message. Yeah, I don't worry about it. They got their own eye for an eye and all that, you know? You mean that guy hanging from the yard arm? Everything's settled back down now. <laughs> oh, was that? Grab that shotgun. What? Ever heard of pheasant? We need to talk. I can't. My, my, my mom's out. I don't feel good. Look. Oh. I never feel good, Norman, but life keeps moving. She was real. If we forget about her, then the world will forget about her. It'll be like she never existed, like her life didn't matter. See, it's there, in English. Everything else in here is in Chinese. You must have seen it somewhere. The journal. Found it in room four. Where are you going? Where do you think? This is where I found it. Right here. Under the carpet. These girls were brought here from China. And guys came to the motel to try them out. Who do you think brought them? The guy who owned this place before you. He's disturbing. Not someone you want to get stuck in an elevator with. There's a bunch of pictures in here of them chained up to pipes. Like this one. So most things have pipes like that? Oh my god, Norman, there's something down here. Looks like 
She's Chinese. She was here, Norman. She was real. Yeah, we've already established that she was real. But for the amount of shady stuff that happens in this town, you know? Just hops into a police vehicle. Oh, I don't know you that well, but you just you seem like a really nice person, and right now I really need a friend. I mean, why is this guy harassing me? I can't tell you how frustrating it is. It's irritating. I can't have cops coming in and out of my home over nothing. I mean, it's not like they found anything. Yeah, I'm on duty, Norma. You are. Yeah, they found the belt. But we should talk later. I'll tell you. You over dinner? Why don't you? Why don't you come over to my place? Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. I'll see you then. Okay? All right. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to put on my face. I'm having dinner with Shelby. Why? Because Norman, he knows. He knows about the belt. Would you like a drink? Sure. What's your poison? Where is Norma going to <laughs> you gonna sleep with Shelby for the away. info? Sure. She wouldn't do anything for her boy now to give it a buck. <laughs> Norma, don't, she don't play that. So, um, so what's the deal? Well, how about we start with you telling me about the belt? No, don't, 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 don't do that. Look, if we're going to help each other, we've got to be honest with each other. That is the only thing that matters to me, Norma. Please tell me, why did your son have Keith's belt under his bed? That Romero has it. He's got it out for me. Romero never saw the belt. I found it. I took it. So no one else knows. Oh, he took it. Like Keith was a bully. Guy had a, he had a hell of a temper. I notice you have a bit of a temper yourself. What is this? Where did you get this score, Norma? When I was a child, it's, um, just an accident. Is that what happened to Keith? Is that an accident? Norma, did your son kill Keith? No. No. No, of course not. Did you? Is there anything else you want to say? What could I possibly say? Look, I know that you have spent your life taking care of other people. You're making their problems yours. You're carrying that weight. The truth is, it is weighing you down. I'm going to change that. Now I am going to take care of you, Norma Bates. So don't you worry, okay? Everything is going to be fine. Oh, it says you. <laughs> Bruh. Well, I can't disagree with you there. You want to be careful because this, this woman is like the Black Widow. <laughs> She's like the, the Black Widow spider, bro. So why is mom here taking care of you? Shouldn't there be some, some homemade chicken soup on the stove or something? Oh, she's out. She should have been back hours ago. Because I'm getting really worried. I mean, it's not like her to just not answer. I tried to go to bed, but I just... What am I supposed to do? I don't know, man. <laughs> you need to get out more, Norman. What she's doing to you, is it's not healthy. There's a whole world out there. You need some perspective. It's good advice. Sorry, you tried to kill me the other night. I hardly think I tried to kill you. You came at me with a meat tenderizer. Oh, I did. You're making this up, right? He doesn't remember? You were pretty badass. Yeah, I'm sure I struck fear in your heart. <laughs> Our family is so screwed up. So he has yes, we are. memory issues. Well, and I'm sorry I tried to kill you. According to you, anyway. Seems like he has these episodes of these moments where he'll do something and forget it. Like his short term memory is shot. Everything's okay for now. What does that mean for now? Zach has the belt. He does. He hit it. He seems to want to help us. Seems to want to help us. No, no, just, please, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm, I'm exhausted. I, okay, all I can tell you is I feel fairly safe, so don't worry. Mom, what does this mean? Mother, please, I need to know. I've been waiting all night. Deputy Shelby has the belt. And he's going to protect us. This is a bad idea. What? Letting him use you. I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to have this discussion with you. What if he makes you do things, things you don't want to do? Well, what do you want me to say? Norman, uh, Norman, why would you keep that thing? Why? Why would you keep it? 
I, I just don't understand. I don't. I want to. I, I just like to keep mementos. You know all that stuff. I have my room. This wasn't a good experience. This was horrible. It was violent. I was sexually assaulted, and I killed a man. Why would you ever, ever in a million years, why would you want to keep a memento of that? I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know. I don't know. Is this... It's either he's gonna become a serial killer or... I don't know. Well, hey. Hey. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. I posted that photo on Yahoo Answers and got it translated. It's Jao. It means beautiful. It's really sad. Uh, I... I'm going to the police after school. I'm gonna tell them about the journal you found. Do not do that. Because I don't want to get messed up with the police. I can't explain it to you. Maybe you're right. Maybe this is real. But finding out what happened to this girl isn't going to make a difference to anyone. She's still going to be dead. You're still going to be sick. And I'm still going to be who I am. It's a bit much, sir. Calm down. Yeah, he has a mean streak in him, man. I'm really sorry. I'm just telling you I can't deal with this right now. Is Wait a second. I'm here like... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Isn't this, um... Uh, isn't this... Isn't that Allison from from freaking? It's her, cause I'm I'm like, where do I know this face from, man? It's Allison from freaking House of the Dragon, man. Is it because I'm used to her with the English accent too? I couldn't put the two together because she has an American accent here. As long as Shelby has that belt, he can control us. Things. We oh God, <laughs> they're in the darkness. I don't know that not again. I know, Mother. There's something wrong with me. You know what you have to do, don't you? I have to get that belt. No! Bruh, so his... Oh my god. So you just out here going to this man's house to get the belt. This kid... Is so obsessed with his mom, he should be talking to himself, thinking he's talking to his mom. What if you end up in a situation right here that the screen off you kill a cop, bro? And you're in this man's house wearing no gloves. <laughs> Just breaks into a cop's house, you know. Well, his reaction time is good. Brad, this dude is... Oh, wait a second. He has his own little thing going on down here. So he ain't so innocent, is he? He has Yo this cop Is he imagining this? Are you all, are you all right? Does she look all right? Help me. Hey yo this story just went from crazy to <laughs> Even crazier, bro. Like, this is... Not, I was not expecting this at his house. They gonna end... They gonna end the episode there, dude. For real, though. For reals. <laughs> For reals, though. Alright, so that was episode three of Bates Motel. Yes. This show. <laughs> Bruh. Every time you think that you probably know what's going on and you're thinking that oh the show is gonna go in this direction they just like boom just throw you com completely in a different direction and that just um makes the show more entertaining i'm loving it man because now we're finding out that freaking this dude is this cop he's the one that has a chinese girl in it in their basement and one of them probably already dead and he was also talking about the dude Keith that they killed. I wonder if he was doing stuff with Keith and that's why he knows that that's his belt. You know what I'm saying? And that's why he probably hit it because 
you know what I mean? He wanted Norman to be real with him about certain things, but this is going to get crazy. I could see this getting crazy. So I finally figured out where I know the, 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 the actress that plays Emma from. Uh, she's much older in A House of the Dragon, but it was one of my favorite actresses um, in the first season of House of the Dragon. She played Allison, and you know, I didn't pick it up at first because I was like, from, from like last episode, because she was very prominent in the last episode, I was like, where do I know this chick from? And the face is so familiar. But I think if I think if she had the English accent in this. I think I would have recognized her quicker, but it's because she has the American accent in the show. I just couldn't put the face. I just couldn't put the face to the face, you know what I mean? But it's good to know because Allison was was one of my favorite characters in um in in House of the Dragon, even though a lot of people was jumping on Rhaenyra's balls every chance they got <laughs> you know what I'm saying Alicent was just one of my favorite characters in the show she was lovely beautiful you know what I'm saying and she was a redhead you know what I mean you, you if you've been around the channel for a long time you already know how I feel about my redheads you know what I mean you know what I mean <laughs> well anyways that, yes that's enough about me <laughs> this episode was great the way how it was filmed everything about this show so far how have i not seen these shows that's the question i keep asking myself like so many like you guys have yet to let me down when it comes on to tv shows like i've not watched one tv show that was like mediocre that i can say yo that was horrible every tv show that you guys have suggested have been anywhere from from an 8 to a 10 so far nothing was mediocre or average or below average everything all the tv shows that i've watched that's why my top 10 keeps keeps fluctuated in and out because it's like i don't know which one of these shows to put in my top 10 because it's like these shows are so good and to to be watching this and seeing how it's turned out and how 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 they're filming it the implications of certain things in this episode we got norman passing out he's having you know kind of like flashes of you know imagining his teacher being tied up and then you know what i'm saying also him hallucinating his mom telling him to go to this cop's house to go get the belt and then finding out that the belt had the the cop you know what I'm saying? It has a basement with a chi with these Chinese girls that they've been investigated and stuff like that. Like this is just is this is entertaining right here. This is entertaining, scary but entertaining. <laughs> you know, um, my God, my God, and the stuff that happens, man. Like, oof, oof. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Um, I think. Norman's brother is going to be in for a rude awakening when he probably going to end up finding out. I think eventually he's going to find out all of this stuff and it's going to shock the hell out of him because in a way it's not Norman that told him to go do this. He's hallucinating because he's like, I, I you know, he needs help. <laughs> Let's put it like that in a subtle way. He needs help, man. This is great TV. I love it. Um, can't wait to watch more. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment. Let's get 100 likes on this video, man. Let's get 100 likes. That's the goal for y'all. Let's get 100 likes on this video. So don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment as well. I'll catch you guys for the next one, man. Peace.